When it comes to displaying your talents in a casual environment, not many come close to the Korean American church. Coffee House is an event created by a couple of Korean American churches here on the islands to help promote the talents of the youth that attend the church. They pitch the idea of a safe environment where competition is not the driving force, but instead the display of what they call God-given talent. This coffee house held at Aya Korea United Methodist Church was a little different as they invited local bands non-Koreans to come and perform. One of those bands, the Bougies, led by vocalist Jordan Bonglong and accompanied by Thunderstorm on the Gohon, got to display a lot of their songs at the coffee house. After the performance, we asked Jordan Bonglong why he chose to agree to perform at the church's coffee house, and also asked him what makes it so special to perform at a venue like this. And I really like this church because even though you don't come here very often, you can come here every once in a while and you'll still feel the warmth and the love. And it's good to share that with you guys. I don't know most of you. <laughs> Besides Coffee House, Korean American churches also come together for youth camps and retreats. The retreats have many activities like archery and rock climbing, and they also provide a time where they can participate in group games to enhance their teamwork ability. These retreats are not only guided to help each child with their spiritual walk, but also to create a bond with the Korean American community. Youth retreat leader Sharon Kim caught up with a lot of the retreat members and asked how the retreat went for them. Um, did you like the retreat? Yeah. Would you do it again? Definitely. I think it was, a, it was a interesting experience to have two UMC churches. And the person for me, I, mean, I live in Milani, so. Oh, for all? Yeah. Dang. And I've been to IA once. Oh, really? Yes. I've never seen you. I went there in high school. Oh. <laughs> oh. It was honestly pretty awkward the first two days, but like today and oh what the heck sorry well yesterday and today we got along really well with the CUMC people that's good oh, would you would you want to conjoin retreat again yeah you're not lying no okay so did you like the retreat yes I did what was your favorite part um my favorite part is the fulfillment of my goal my first goal was um, to see everyone growing, not like separately, but with each other, you know, united. Mm -hmm. And throughout the couple of days, I saw it happen, so I'm pretty um, satisfied. One of the main programs that the Korean American Church provides is Sunday School. Like most churches in the U.S., Sunday School is a program that helps kids from daycare all the way to sixth grade learn about the Bible. One of the main reasons first-generation Koreans send their kids here is the fact that this is a way for their child to connect with other second- and third-generation Koreans. Sending them to schools in America will help them learn English, but without Sunday school, a lot of second- and third-generation kids will forget the language and culture of the Korean race. The young adults in the Korean church often involve themselves with activities like church softball. I caught up with the church softball team and got to see one of their practices. As the number of members in the Christian church continues to decline, the Korean American church's attendance stays steady as it's not only beneficial to their faith, but to their Korean culture as a whole. All you have to do is call on Jesus.